Hello everyone, Cody Dean here. In this business, <laughs> in this video, we're going to be going over how to build your business offline and how that relates to building your business online. So let's get right into it. Okay, so in the offline example, I'm going to use McDonald's as the major example here. Okay, now when you're building a business, it doesn't matter if it's online or offline, there's a couple things that you need to talk uh, or think about. And the first thing that you want to start thinking about is traffic or people. Um, and not just people in general, but you want to think about um, who do I want to serve? Okay. Um, there's people out there that need your services. And so you want to think of them first. Okay. You don't want to just sell some random product. Now, so once you figure out the people, you want to think of like, hey, who do I want to serve? But more importantly, um, like what kind of problems uh, do they have, right? Um, so you want to think of who who do I want to serve, okay? And it's not just you want to serve everybody. You want to specifically make a target. So you want to think like, hey, so McDonald's, who do they serve? Um, busy people. Or, yeah. Busy people that don't have time to cook food, right? So it's their target market that they're going after. Second thing is you want to think, like, what result do you want to bring to these people? Okay, so there's people that are very busy, and they could be in the demographic of 25 to 35, 45, 55. Uh, they, pro they have a pretty wide range. Um, their bread and butter is probably people in college or maybe... Um, you know, anyway, so they figured out the people. Now they need to figure out, like, what result do we want to bring them? So once you figure out, like, hey, what's the result you want to bring them? So for McDonald's, I think that their major goal that they have for their customers is to bring them fast, reliable food. Um, I want to feed, feed them fast. And then I put reliable in there in the fact that, like, it's consistent. So maybe it might be not uh, reliable, but consistent food so you could go down the street or you can go up two blocks the same hamburger every single time it's fast it's consistent and it gets them the food that they need okay number three is where are they where are these people that they're trying to serve super fast food to well if they were trying to go on um <laughs> well let's let's think about this here right so we have this let's get a straight mcdonald's is actually not amazing because it has the most amazing hamburgers what makes mcdonald's amazing is it has the most amazing real estate locations this is what they are masters of, of finding out where their target market is hanging out all right so the mcdonald's they're amazing at finding out where the people are they'll do years and years and years of research um, just to find out the best location to put a uh, McDonald's. Um, that's because location is so important. Think of this traffic here, right? So they go and they know, hey, people that are busy are probably on the streets. And they're probably in these certain locations. Hey, let's go and put our store right where all these busy people are. Okay, so the most important part here is to figure out where are they at? Where do they hang out? And I was coming up with some ideas here. Um, so they're definitely, these people that McDonald's serves are on the streets, they're in airports, they're in malls, um, anywhere there's busy people because busy people don't have time to cook. So they need their product, right? And they just plop their, their restaurant right down in front of this traffic source, okay? Notice how there's not any um, McDonald's in a grocery store, okay? Now, there are some I see in Walmarts, but not in actually like food places where there's f people that are shopping for food. They might be on the street corner next to the place for the grocery store, but there's not actually off the side. So, right, because the people that are shopping for food are not their target market. Anyway, so, um, so not grocery stores. Okay, so... Now the very last thing, and this is the most important part, is number four. Can you guess what it is? Is how to attract 
them. Yeah. Okay. So it's one thing. It's one thing to know who the people are that you want to serve. It's another to know. Hey, I can get them a result. Hey, I know where they are. Um, but if you can't get them to come into the building, they're just going to drive on by. They're like, oh, look, a McDonald's. Or, you know, you see this all the time with, like, a, like a homeless person, right? Some homeless people do a much better job attracting people or getting attention um, to have uh, – to get your attention, basically, right? So – um, I'm going to put this here of how do you attract them or how uh, do you get uh, their attention. So what does McDonald's do to get their attention? All right. So I was thinking of some ideas that uh, McDonald's does to attract customers into their store. So first thing that I was thinking of was like, um, do they have any kind of marketing? And they send out direct response, uh, mark, or they do send out direct mail, I should say, um, in the form of coupons, right? You know, I see those all the time with different fast food places just sent into the uh, mailbox. So we have coupons there. Uh, there's some shiny banners on the store, which kind of goes to yummy pictures. Like you're driving by and you're like, oh, my stomach hurts. And then you just see this gigantic picture of a burger. And you're like, oh, my goodness, that looks so delicious. I, I definitely want to get some of that. Um, and then you go in. Um, consistency, they're constantly there. Just be having them in a good location. You see them every single day um, if that's on your commute. Um, also being in multiple locations that you see them across town. Um, so they have the branding, they have the discounts, they have that consistency. So those are some ways that they they get people into to into their business. Um, now there's definitely other things that uh, you can do to build your business like upselling and continuity and things like this, but this is going to be the, the foundation of building up your business. Okay, um, So you have to think of that um, and compare it. Now let's take some time to compare it to your online business that you have. Okay, so let's compare this to an online business. So let's duplicate this page, uh, building your business on the line. And so it's no longer McDonald's here, right? But we want to keep the same kind of questions and same information that we just um, did some market research with to figure out for McDonald's. Okay, so let's make this a little smaller so we can see everything in one nice little section. And we'll make that smaller, put that underneath there. Boom, let's do this. Okay, so we got this all put together here, and you have to start thinking to yourself the exact same questions. Okay, start with the very first one here is, is your traffic or your people. Um, who do you want to surf? Who do you want to go and help? What kind of people are those people? Honestly, this doesn't need to be very complicated. You can just keep it very simple, and then you can refine it as the, as you go along, right? Don't feel like you need to have everything perfect to start. Like for me, for example, okay? I like to work with um, sales reps. I like to work with entrepreneurial type of people. Um, I like to work with people that want uh, to make more money and um, that are interested in personal growth and development. Okay? So if someone is not interested in personal development and growth and making more money, I just say, hey, no worries. Go on. Move, move about your day. That's nice. beauty of this is there's 7.5 billion people on the earth. There's going to be someone that you can help. There's someone that you can serve and do what you want to do to help them. Okay, so you know the type of people you want to serve. Now you need to figure out like what kind of results do I want to bring them. Now this is what's going to really dis, um, distinguish you or differentiate you from the rest of the marketplace, right? Because there's a ton of people out there teaching how to make more money or there's tons of people in McDonald's case that are going to sell to people that are busy and have fast food. Um, what is your unique proposition to the market. Okay, so what results do you want to bring them? I'm just using myself as an example here, okay? So I'm working with people that are in sales, entrepreneurially minded, or they want to be entrepreneurially more minded, and they want to make more money. Um, but they just don't know quite 
know where to go. So how do, what results do I want to bring them? I want to teach them the creation formula to improve their mindset, to help them make more money, improve their results, um, give them more confidence, inner peace, start multiple streams of income, and start a business. So that is the result that I need to bring to people, right? Okay, now next section, number three. And this is, again, super, super important for you to understand. This is why McDonald's is such a success is because they understand where the customer hangs out. Okay, so where are they? When I say where are they, it's where are the, where's the customer? Where are they hanging out? Okay, so you have to think for a second. Okay, so if I'm targeting sales reps, entrepreneurially minded individuals, people that want to make more money, personal growth and development, what kind of groups or where, what kind of things are they consuming? Okay, so you have to get into the mind of your customer and think like, where, if I was that person, where would I be? And uh, just the ones off the top of my head are going to be, they're on Facebook on YouTube, they they consume content on YouTube and podcasts um, because they're motivated. They're looking for personal growth. They're looking for development. They're looking for those kind of things. This is where they're at, and so um, that's where I need to go and plant my little my piece of real estate. Okay, um, content is just little pieces of real estate. So then you can go start creating content. So you have to get into the mind of your customer. And you want to think of how can I att- um, where wherever they are, and then you can say, hey, how can I attract them from where they currently are, and to come into my 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 place, right? And so uh, we run ads to the free journal, give away our free journal, um, free educational videos. Um, that's the content, free group, free course. Um, and anything else, really, right? So, what can we what can we take from here? Um, I could definitely offer uh, coupons to people, and um, other things like that, right? So, the cool thing is here, I can just model right after what McDonald's is doing because they're being successful, um, or I can even model after what someone else is already doing because I guarantee there's already someone else doing exactly what I want to do, um, or what you want to do. Just go find what they're doing and then and model right after it, okay? So these are the couple of things here. If you'd like to learn more about this, um, I am going to be opening up my Goal Creation Academy. We'll teach you all about goals, teach you about getting in the right mindset. And for everyone that signs up for the Goal Creation Academy, we are going to be doing something special um, with the next academy that we get in. Uh, that we're going to be starting, which is going to be Business Creation Academy. So I'm excited to show everyone that. Um, I'll put the link down below. Um, j- go join the Goal Creation Academy. Um, you can see right here my picture that I have for it, which is pretty cool. And you'll get a free journal when you are when you join the academy. So I'll see you guys on the inside of the academy. We start soon. <laughs>